Good morning from Guwahati, from a cold morning in Guwahati. Today we're in front of KTM 6 Mile and we've come here for a ride, uh, which is a KTM Pro Getaway. Uh, well, what's going to happen today is that uh, I'm going to be the expert rider for KTM and I'm going to take out around 20-25 riders to a scenic location in Manas National Park. And then we're going to have a good time over there. Uh, there's going to be some briefings and all that stuff. So stay updated. Keep watching the vlog and watch the whole thing so that you can see everything what's been done for the entire ride so right now uh, registrations and indemnities are going on and we should soon gonna proceed with the ride so customers are filling up the registrations okay riders so uh, today's ride is about stadium pro getaways our uh, yard uh, i experience the officer so from the company all of our tarmac riding, there will be a little bit of off-roading and overall me like it's a good adventure for you guys. Mask, anytime you take your leave, you should keep wearing your mask at all times and riding gears uh, you should use when you're riding. Also, uh, we'll be stopping at two locations. So once we do, make sure not to cross the first rider which is me and the second, our second sweep rider which is Rehan, don't go behind him or don't cross me in the front. Remember, ride safe, be careful, and let's enjoy the day. Thank you. Good day, love. So far, we're a bit late because uh, the customers they were a bit late coming to the showroom. So we've started now and the photographer is waiting on the highway so let's just go and give him some good shots and proceed actually I have to keep checking back that everyone is there in the line because we don't want anyone to fall behind especially not this early I don't want to make them late such a small bike uh, handles like butter in traffic and <laughs> it's so easy to ride this thing uh, I'm pretty sure the customers are enjoying as well because I can see them they're just on my tail now we are entering the beautiful beautiful Salagat bridge which connects Guwahati to North Guwahati and the rest of Lower Assam so this is a new bridge that one was the old bridge we're crossing that part with the new bridge how serene and how beautiful this place is but uh, if you ask me I still like the old bridge a little bit because of how it looks it's got that antique uh, old style uh, Britishers design kind of a bridge all the old bridges used to be like this with those nice metal structures I actually like the way that was made but nevertheless this one looks good and at least it serves the purpose of crossing the city <laughs> and a big ass river so I think that's good enough for us right now in about 10 seconds we'll be officially out of Mahati city and we are out now we have entered Amingao <laughs> As you can see, my rearview mirror has gone a wall. So, in order to tighten it up, I've just rotated it this way. But I can still use one mirror and uh, be okay with it. So, I see we have Yoshila bunch of riders behind me. Because <laughs> nobody is falling back. I uh, came a bit fast because the stretch was a little empty. And 
<laughs> every single one of these riders are behind me not one has fallen behind Alright, so we have stopped for our first uh, nature's call break. So right now we are in a place uh, about 10 kilometers out of Nalbari. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the lineup once. So there's one of our customers. Hello, hi. <laughs> so we got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. A total of nine bikes. So, this is one paddy field that we have uh, decided to stop beside, and we've got a beautiful national highway. Follow us on our journey to a paddy field. Ready? Sounds good. See, two more bikes coming from the opposite side. One battery rickshaw. This is the situation. I just hope everyone is safe and they're coming very slowly, very easily. Because roads aren't that good. Judging by the color, I think they're mustard fields. There's 
So right now we are almost reaching Manas. Uh, we are around five kilometers out of that location. Uh, I'm with the team. Everybody is enjoying. And look what's behind. Beautiful tea garden. Beautiful tea garden in Assam. I'll just show you some other shots. So we have done our second photo shoot location, beautiful tea gardens on the right side of Manas. It's almost we are almost entering the uh, national park. So before that, we thought, why not enter with a bang with a burnout? So uh, there was a small burnout, and right now we'll directly proceed to Musa. As you can see, this is a tourist season, so a lot of lot of people, a lot of tourists, people from all over the world, all over the country, they're here. Not many foreigner, foreigners though, because of current COVID-19 situations. But a lot of tourists from all over the country, people are having picnic over there. And we, if we have to enter Manas, we have to enter in their uh, gypsy safari that they have. So we gotta hire one of those gypsies and pay for our entry and then we can go inside the park. But right now, as of now, I mean today, we don't have any such plans. I'm talking about one of those gypsies. So we have to hire one of these and then we can enter the park. This is the main gate. We'll not be going inside, we'll take a right turn. My dad keeps coming here all the time to treat these <laughs> the official elephants, even a few wild ones, and then he's done a lot of translocations, rhino translocations, elephant translocations, even tigers to and fro from Manas. So this is the park, the side, it's a fence, so this is the border basically, and then we're not entering the park, so we're just going near the border and we'll go to the resort. So that is the big resort that we have come to, Musa Jungle Retreat. Hey, follow this way. Thank you. Good afternoon guys, as we have gathered here, uh, we have completed half of our ride and the other half will be completing on the way back. Well, uh, from here now on, I'll take it uh, in my regional language because uh, this ride is in Assam, so I'll continue in Assam. That's the racing part of my career. Second part comes uh, the touring. So since 2014, when I started off with KTM, Juntu had a involvement, a company involvement, but company Juntu support Asile Hodai. That uh, boosted my confidence for a lot of tours, and I've done a few tours, some tours to Tawang and Northeast, and a few tours. So basically, now what I want to tell you guys is that Abna uh, Lokajuri touring kore with these bikes, KTM bikes. Uh, what should be kept in mind and fourthly helmet helmet I'll suggest uh, Jiman costly helmet hoy Jiman apna loge effort kora pare Jiman costly helmet kino 
reason being jiman bhal shell hoy himan impact to kom hoy touring we should always keep one thing in mind that wherever we are going and what kind of terrain it is we should always maintain one single line and a distance and a you know motion between the two bikes this thing was wonderful the ride was wonderful that the organization everything is good so i liked it but up and press a little bit more on the handlebars now it shouldn't be that tight so that you know you get jerked off little bit not much just balance your body out and if possible if uh, there's good clearance with the tank you can even hold the tank with your knees but if there's not no problems you can hold it even the side panels but just uh, put your body up so what that does is that that equal equalizes the load on both the forks and the rear shock uh i think we're going to end this now yeah uh, there's no more doubts from any riders so yeah uh, i hope you enjoy it and ride safe and if you have any doubts anywhere on the road going back also feel free to let me know you can approach me because you'll be on behind me you can approach me honk at me blow the horn quite a few times i'll know that somebody wants to stop me i'll stop the bike and then i'll talk to you any problems any time feel free to contact me don't take me and like a ride captain or anything i'm one of you guys i'm one of your riders thank you thank you